Today we're going to show you how you can check your piston on a steel TS420 disc cutter. First, start to detach the water kit from the machine by unscrewing the holder using the Torx spanner. For safekeeping, you can fix the screw back in place. Now, using the Torx spanner, remove the screw that attaches the belt guard to the machine. Using a 13mm spanner, release the tension in the belt by turning it anti-clockwise. Once that's been loosened, remove the recoil by unscrewing the three 13mm bolts which hold it to the machine. Now that's removed, free the belt completely from the machine and detach the arm. Using the torque spanner, unscrew the spark plug cap. Then loosen the four screws on the shroud. Remove the four screws of the air filter cover to free the air and gauze filter. Now, return to the shroud and completely remove each screw. Rest the shroud back on top of the machine until it's been detached completely. Then, remove the four screws which hold the flywheel cover on by using the torque spanner. Once that's removed, lift the shroud and detach the wires from the machine. Remove the spark plug cap and unscrew the spark plug from the machine. Using the torque spanner, remove the two screws that hold the cylinder cover in place. Now, screw in the piston stop to lock the crank. Use a 13mm spanner and turn anti-clockwise to free the starter cup. Then, detach the 13mm bit and return to completely remove the starter cup. Now use a 19mm spanner to loosen the clutch by pulling it clockwise. Spin it clockwise by hand to completely remove the clutch. Then remove the washer and clutch pulley. Once that's removed, turn to the exhaust and remove the four screws which hold it in place using the torque spanner. You will now be able to remove this from the machine, along with the guard which sits behind it. From this position, you will be able to see the cylinder and the piston inside it. 
By turning the crank you will be able to see the piston move. If the piston looks dry or scored then you should replace your piston. That's how you check your piston on a Stealth TS420. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.